Mission 23, The Unwavering Path. Continue with this epic tennis game. Yeah, this couple with their ODM gear. ODM tennis rackets. She's playing for love. What? <laughs> okay. Why not just shoot him and be done with it? Just, just shoot them. <laughs> just, throw, I don't know. Throw a grenade. This is just too excessive. Yeah. They're just playing for a higher purpose. They're playing for world peace. And even more than that, for love. If you can't win this tennis game, do you even deserve Twilight's love? Bullets. Or some kind of genetically engineered animal? Some kind of chimera? There we go, finally, some common sense. <laughs> Damn, he took a bullet for her. Your, <laughs> you better watch out. Twilight in his real life is just a bigger character than whatever show Anya watches. It's all your fault. He's been playing tennis with a bulletproof vest on. That's amazing. Right. I don't think you're getting this painting by anything other than theft or force. Yeah, as we know, Twilight can't get drunk. He's trained his body. <laughs> What's some fancy tennis? This is just absurd, and I love it. Just another day of light work. Light spy work for Lloyd. <laughs> damn, damn, they put a lot into this shot, that sequence. Oh, that was really amazing and smart. How about that painting? Oh no, don't compliment him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Amazing. Total victory. Crushing defeat. Oh no, he's moved to tears. <laughs> yeah, they will get this painting after all. Can't put a price on family values. Gee, any particular reason why? Wow, what a huge surprise. <laughs> what a twist. The fact it is. You can invite, what's his name? Sunset? The spy, the, the weird faced boy hired to destroy Damien's grades. He's a master thief. Are you just saying this out loud? They're all being so incautious about what they say in front of each other. That's Lloyd. It's Lloyd. It's Lloyd. It's Lloyd. You can give one of the rings to Anya. Mission Ooh, that was a really interesting bonding experience for the two of them, though. They're, like, getting really close. Eh, yeah, you are right. You were there. <laughs> oh, hey, is that daddy with another woman? Is that my new mommy? That's a mess up. You're right now. Just take her on. I have marked you for death. Damn, I'm just getting... Oh, they're just getting territorial. <laughs> Home runs. Damn, 
I mean, she is, for sure. Yeah, this is not gonna work out the way you think it will, though. <laughs> it's so silly, but also so relatable. When you get into useless competitions for people you like. Rather than Anya supporting Yoshi, she just wants to see the cat fight, like a lot of the audience. Here's an embarrassing story on that note. This is a long time ago, thankfully. Not that I'm above it now. But there was a, a girl I really had a, cr a huge crush on, and I ended up going out with her and some friends, which included one of my closest guy friends. It was their first time meeting, but he also kind of fell for her that night. And in hindsight, she was having fun with the whole situation. You know, who could blame her? But we were just doing all sorts of things to one-up each other. Like, for example, we met at this rooftop bar that had a pool, but it was closed because it was September. And on a dare, I decided to jump into the pool with all my clothes on and got thrown out of the, the bar onto the street. It was a really fun night. Like, it was a lot of fun. It was full of adventure. We were all crazy, probably largely because of the competition. Like, we were both trying to have the best time and be as interesting as possible but then yeah long story short at the last place we went to she ended up going home presumably with the bartender which was neither of us neither of us were the bartender that's how that goes sometimes in summary lloyd does not give a crap about the outcome of this tennis match and you're already won well, i mean she also might win the tennis match just outright come on lloyd you gotta enjoy this a little bit just let it happen let it happen Okay, or not. Damn. Again, how often does this happen? If only you could prepare food, like you can chop a ball. What a good boy. Fiona also just came off a pretty intense game of tennis. The most intense game of tennis that was ever played. And she got obliterated. <laughs> Why am I rooting for her? Why am I rooting for her? What is wrong with me? Oh no. How do you score that? If it makes you feel better, you were never gonna win. Yeah. Wait, don't go. I was enjoying this arc so much. <laughs> Come back. Lloyd, do you have no feelings for any woman? Nothing. You just wants some positive affection, some affirmation. Oh, she got the rings. He did give it to her. Diary. It was all worth it. It was all worth it, the whole thing. This is a victory. All worth it. It's like World War II or Cold War OnlyFans. No! There you go, there you go. Keep it close to your heart. Oh, we got le leverage against them? Maybe? Turn his wife against them and the whole house of cards falls like dominoes. Oh, he's gone. She looks like horribly repulsed by him. Yours doing a great job working herself up over this whole thing. She feels unappreciated. All she wanted was some. Yeah, Lord, Lord's gonna step it up, man. Honestly, uh, like I said, I know this is not probably not fan consensus. I don't care if he <laughs> dates Frost. Like, pick someone and give it that human touch. You don't feel lonely, Lloyd. You don't feel like you need a, a woman. In your life in a real way it's interesting because some of it feels like the story he's been telling explicitly which is that it's all a desire to keep himself detached so that he can do his job effectively like these are just tools in operation strix for world peace so that people don't die innocent people don't die but is that all it is is that the extent of it it seems like it's a it comes a little bit too natural for him for it to be just that he doesn't seem to need a, a cover story or need an excuse he just doesn't really have those feelings organically in large measure at least that's how it seems to me right now <laughs> you just need a stronger racket she trained with the animals. I mean, it is obvious that on some level Lloyd has some good emotions somewhere for your. I don't get the sense, as I've been saying recently, of a lot of organic romance between 
Lloyd and Yor. It's pretty much a guarantee that that's going to develop. I wonder how it's going to develop. It doesn't seem like it comes naturally to him. What would make someone like Lloyd fall in love genuinely with Yor? Maybe when he sees she has commitments to the same ideals of helping the world, but she's an assassin, so that's tricky. Actually, to tell the truth, from the beginning, I've kind of expected there to be a part of the show where they become polarized and at odds with each other because of nationality, politics, and career conflicts that almost certainly will put them head to head. I Yor is going to be contracted to kill Lloyd at some point. I think that's a safe bet. At what point do they actually develop like real genuine romantic sexual feelings for each other? <laughs>